What I really want to talk to y'all about today is, I hate to do this, I want to talk about my brother Anthony Richardson, the starting quarterback for the Indianapolis Colts. I don't, listen to me fam, we already know the NFL, man, it's, it's a dangerous game, and it's a cutthroat, it's a cutthroat business. I don't know what's going on right now, but you playing like absolutely <laughs> You the worst looking quarterback in the NFL right now. And I don't get on this show and just talk. I go look up production. I look up film work. And you, I don't know what's going on. You completing 44% of your passes? That's unacceptable. When you got a backup and Joe Flacco that to take your job. And don't think they won't give them your job either. Because they will, fam. I don't know what's going on, but I'm praying to get better. You better than the way you playing right now. Because I can't make no more excuses for you. Because when Joe Flacco was in there, the ball was going up and down the damn field. Now every time when you on the field, it's third and 30. What's going on? You need to sit down with your offensive lineman. And y'all need to have some mother conversations. What is it about me that y'all can't give me three to four seconds to block for me that y'all giving for Joe Flacco? Because when Joe Flacco in there, they blocking their ass off. When you in there, you either on your ass or running around or missing throws. That can't happen, fam. You on a rookie contract, dog. You got to take advantage of this. You got an owner that's on perk 30s. Do you hear me? Jim Ursay on perk 30s, fam. You got to own them. You got to play better, dog. I don't want them to give Joe Flacco your job, but they will. You coming out saying you was tired. You ain't never supposed to do that shit. Don't never say that shit again at no um, press conference, fam, that you was tired. You had to take yourself out. Don't you do that. Don't you give them motherfuckers no ammunition against you. Because I know what you are. I know what you're capable of doing. But you got to go out there and prove it each and every Sunday. You the leader of the team. Leader can't be saying I'm tired. This ain't no joke right here. I'm dead ass serious about Anthony Richardson, man. That's my guy, man. I believe in that dude, man. But you need to play better, fam. You need to find yourself again. I don't know what's going on up there in that locker room. But I watched that team perform. I watched them block for Flacco. Why they can't do the same for you? Now, I'm going to piggyback off to Pittsburgh, and I feel like the coach should do the same thing. They done brought in Russell Wilson. I seen some of the plays last night that the Steelers was running, that Russell Wilson was running back in Seattle. Them quick little screen passes, getting the ball out, bootleg, letting them roll out, roll out and do him. That's what you got to do, coach. You trying to make him be a pocket passer? That just ain't him. Let him run some bootlegs out, run some read options with him, and, and, and let's cater to your player uh, – uh, the thing, attributes that he do the best. We not seeing that. We not seeing that. We come on here, we criticize. Oh, man, he can't see this and that. Well, you need to run an offense that's tailored for him. Because the eighth offense right now is tailored for a Joe Flacco. You got big receivers out there? Let's take advantage. Indianapolis coach, whoever you are, whoever the head coach, I can't think of your name right now, man. Get Anthony Richardson some plays that he can succeed in. You got a good running back in Jonathan Taylor. Run them read outs and let the defense make a decision. Either I'm going to take um, Taylor or I'm going to take Richardson. Now, granted, you've been hurt a little bit. You've been a little tender getting hurt. But you're going to have to come on with it, dog. And it gets simple as that. How y'all feeling right now? What y'all done seen so far from Anthony Richardson? Get in the comments. I'm in the comments section with y'all right now. I'm trying to figure this out with y'all. When I love somebody and I rock with somebody, I'm going to support them. I'm not going to down them when they down. But I got to be a friend. And I'm a friend. I'm a friend that's one going to tell you that you've been playing like trash and you have. And you're better than that. Last three, four motherfucking weeks, before you got hurt, you wasn't playing what for damn and you still not playing what for damn. That need to change. I need to see a 30 for 35 game, 330 yard, four touchdowns or something like that. Not this bullshit we keep seeing each and every damn Sunday.
trash of the day is going to Troy Aikman and Joe Buck. Trash! I'm going to need ESPN, CBS, uh, Fox, all you other, get them ragged ass analysts off of there, bring in some new blood, fresh meat like me, who going to call the game fair the way it needs to be called. I don't like the fact that y'all were down in Russell Wilson last night. I don't like the fact y'all were talking about how Steelers' defense, defense ain't all that. But if it ain't all that, why teams can't score more than 15 points against them, then, Mr. Troy Aikman? They run a lot of single high coverage, a lot of one-on-man coverage. I don't see why teams ain't figured it out yet. Teams ain't figured it out yet because they ain't figured it out yet. Gonna call the game, damn it, call the game the way it need to be played. Every week y'all get up over there. They had a good week of practice. Stop it. Everybody not having no good week of practice, nigga. We human. Everybody not gonna have a good week of practice. Every week. Somebody gonna have some bad practices. Somebody gonna drop the ball in practice. Somebody gonna fumble in practice. Somebody gonna get burnt. Everybody not having no good practice, y'all. So stop feeding us this bullshit each and every week. Stop it. Bring me in there. I get shit right, Ryan. Him. Ball hit the receiver in the hand. Oh, he had to stop and all this and that. If it hit your hand, damn it, you're supposed to catch it. That's on him. I watched Russell Wilson throw the ball with Scotty Miller last night. It was slightly underthrown, but most of Russell Wilson balls are. Oh, he ain't never had the strongest arm, but he always had the right arm. Or throwing the ball down there and letting you go and get it. Ball hit the white boy right, right in the chair. Blue. It wasn't a good throw. No, he hit him right in the mother. Right in him. That's on him. I'm not going to let y'all sit up here and keep down in Russell Wilson like that. I'm not going to do it. Y'all talking about everything else? Talk about the good game Jameis Winston had. Be the powerhouse team in the Raven. Jameis Winston did that. No interceptions. That's how you know God is on his way back. Jameis Winston throw three touchdowns, no picks. My heavenly father is on his way. And we better get right. Ooh, nasty. Is it bad? I wouldn't even worry about it because Prize Pick is hooking you up with $50 instantly when you play your first $5 lineup. Think I need a second opinion. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. You may not ever ball again. Never! But on the bright side, Prize Pick still got you on that $50. Download the app and play $5 to get $50 instantly with Code TV. Prize Picks, run your game. Probably should have told him we weren't real doctors. <laughs> Trash. 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 Trash.